Welcome back to another episode of Tech Made Simple. Super excited today because we're gonna cover a big topic going on in the RAIN RFID industry, and that is the Walmart mandate. The Walmart RFID mandate has had a huge impact on the RAIN RFID industry because now every item going into a Walmart store must be tagged with an RFID product. There are thousands of vendors, thousands of people trying to get their products inside of the Walmart stores. Now, to do that, you have to tag those products with an RFID tag. We're gonna talk about why Walmart did this. We're gonna talk about different specs that are necessary to comply with the latest Walmart mandate. We're going to talk inlays that are approved for this Walmart mandate and also how you can tag and encode your tags properly to meet the RFID requirement. All right, let's get into it. So why is Walmart doing this in the first place? Well, I'll let you take the liberty of looking up the exact stats because I'm, I'm sure there's data somewhere out there online about how much product is actually getting lost or unfortunately stolen from many of the Walmart stores around the world. So by taking products with another form of identification, especially RFID that's using wireless communication to, to collect data points throughout the entire store, Walmart's going to be able to capture more data autonomously, which will allow them to know when an object leaves a specific area, where it's at located in the store, as well as just adding extra features that allow them to better serve their customers overall. What are some of those features you're gonna ask? Well, there's the buy online, pick up at curb, buy online, pick up at the store. All those features that you see when you're shopping online at Walmart's website are made possible because of technology like RFID. Another quick history lesson and then we'll get on into some of the more exciting things today, but many people don't realize but Walmart actually tried to do an RFID mandate back in the early 2000s and unfortunately it never really got off the ground because of a few reasons. One, Walmart actually set up some of the criteria for its suppliers saying that if they don't want to tag their products at their facilities, Walmart would actually take that burden for a small charge and tag those products for the customers. You can about imagine the burden that that put on Walmart to tag all the variety of products that were coming into their stores. And given where the RFID technology was back in the early 2000s, there wasn't as many high performing RFID inlays on the market for them to successfully tag a variety of products. Well, that's certainly not the case anymore because the technology has come such a long way since those early 2000 days with the improved chip technologies, the improved antenna performance, as well as reader hardware, software. There's so many benefits that have proved from then. So it's no doubt that Walmart decided to take up that chance to make an RFID mandate again. The most important reason why Walmart's doing this is inventory accuracy. When Walmart decided to bounce the idea around for another RFID mandate, they sent out a few products tagged with RFID tags to almost do another pilot run with RFID. And they found that their store accuracy and inventory levels increased to over 95%, which maybe for many of the applications that you're familiar with, 95% may not be great, but Again, going back to the statistics that you may have found online about items just disappearing in Walmart stores, 95% was a very good start for them to collect that kind of data. So what are the product categories that Walmart is going to be looking to mandate with RFID? Well, the quick answer is everything at some point. It's a little audacious right now, but Walmart has already targeted four categories within their stores that they're looking to, to tag with RFID products. Those four products are home goods, electronics, toys, and sporting goods. So how is Walmart going to organize all the RFID tags and data scans that are going to be coming in now that all of their suppliers are tagging products with RFID? Walmart has teamed up with the standards organization GS1 as well as the Auburn RFID Lab in order to ensure that there's standardization across this whole RFID mandate. So I've mentioned GS1 in a couple other of my videos, so make sure you check those out. I'll link them up above in the, the description here. So Walmart is requiring 
that all the suppliers utilize GS1's EPC electronic product code standards when they go to tag their products. So in short, this standard is essentially tying the product's UPC code to a unique serial number that then will be identified to that specific product when the goods come into the Walmart store. The barcode on your product is a 12 digit barcode that identifies your company, the product, and the category of that that, that product falls into. That barcode data can then be integrated into an RFID EPC scheme through GS1 that converts that barcode information into an RFID data encoding scheme. All of that can sound a little bit confusing, but all of that is laid out on GS1's website, as well as other articles out there as well that can help you understand how to do that. So that's GS1. Now I wanna to touch on the other organization that's helping Walmart in this mandate effort, and that is the Auburn RFID Lab. Auburn University has invested highly in RFID technology and have one of the most respected and renowned RFID labs around the world. The Auburn RFID lab does a variety of testing to ensure that RFID inlay tag performance meets specific requirements for many different applications around the world. They document the performance of inlays from a variety of RFID inlay suppliers and then have those specifications out there for, for instance, suppliers trying to get their products into Walmart to select which RFID antenna is going to best suit their product in the situation. So let's take a look at my screen right here. I have pulled up, I'm on the Auburn RF, RFID Labs website and you can see they have a whole section designated for Walmart specifications. For instance, right now, I am in the specifications for their electronics specs, and you can see they have already gone to the length of identifying subcategories for the potential products that could enter into the Walmart stores. For instance, you, have, you can see there's computers, laptops, soundbars, speakers, all these different things that are a specific category and have a specific inlay specification tied to the products here. So again, what is the inlay specification? Well, for instance, we can see this one is tied to inlay spec Y. If I go over to here, I can select the approved inlay list of one of these, for instance, laptops. And you can see down below, once my computer loads, you can see all of the different companies that have designed and manufactured RFID inlays that can be used and tested on your specific products. Auburn RFID has already gone through the length of testing the performance of these inlays on a variety of materials to ensure that they're going to be adequate for this specific Walmart category, which in this case is electronics and specifically laptops. Okay. So we've talked about why Walmart is having the mandate in the first place. We've talked a little bit about the organization supporting Walmart to ensure the success of this RFID mandate. But now I want to knock off a few questions that I know most of you are probably asking, especially if you are a supplier looking to get your products into Walmart. So the first question would be the time frame. When is this all going into place, if not already? And the answer is, for the categories that I listed earlier, those mandates are already in effect and they were put into effect on September 2nd of last year, 2022. So in order to get your products in the door, specifically with a tagged inlay, you do have to send one of those products tagged with an approved inlay for Walmart to validate. So which stores are requiring this RFID mandate? The answer is all Walmart stores across the US. So back to the beginning of the video when I said, well, what categories and what products are gonna to need to be tagged with RFID? And when I said everything, I wasn't lying because even though there's only four categories that are identified right now, Walmart is planning to add additional categories in this year, 2023. So it's probably a good assumption to know whatever product you are looking to get into Walmart stores is likely, if all said and done, going to be need to tag with Ring RFID. So a big question is, where do I actually tag the product with RFID? Is it the actual item specifically? Is it packaging material? Is it the box that the item goes into? Is it the palette that the item's on? So many questions. The answer is all products have to be tagged at the item level 
It can be applied to the packaging, either inside and integrated with the packaging, or it can be you know, adhesively applied to the packaging in some way. The key answer to that is the item level. It's not a palette level thing. Even if you have all the same product on a palette, each individual item has to be tagged because again, we come back to the unique serial number tied to that UPC barcode information on the tag. That just about wraps up today's video covering some of the questions around the RFID mandate launched by Walmart this past year. I'm sure there may still be many questions out there, but what I suggest, as I always do in my videos, is contact an RFID expert and ask some of these questions. The RFID specific industry is a small enough industry in the sense that if you mention, hey, I'm looking to get my products tagged with RFID for Walmart. Nine times out of 10, they're gonna know exactly what you're looking for in terms of information, or even better, they know how to get you in contact with a person who's going to best be able to help you in your, with your specific needs. As always, make sure you leave some comments below on what other RFID concepts you want made simple.